So, I forgot to kind of reset the slide. So, again, uh, these divergent, convergent, transform plate boundaries uh, create faults. Right? And so we're going to classify the faults. Uh, have you guys covered, did you cover this in geology, like normal faulting, reverse faulting? Right? Yeah, so we're going to classify the faults here initially basically as, you know, like you did in geology, pictorially. Uh, and then later, we're going to classify the faults based on the stress field that accommodates that type of faulting. Right? So, so today, we're just going to assign uh, you know, normal fault, reverse fault, strike slip fault based on pictures, like you did in geology class. But and soon, we'll also extend that to a sort of um, a, a different classification scheme based on the stresses that accommodate that faulting. So, uh, a normal fault, the way I remember it, so you have a foot, wa foot wall and a hanging wall on either side of the fault, right? And the foot wall is always the one that has an acute angle with, with respect to the fault, right? So remember, remember acute, right? less than 90, right? So, uh, the foot wall always has a, an acute angle, right? So the, what, what I, what I, the way I always remember this, or certainly when I first learned it, was if you fit, you know, if you assume this whole thing is floating in space, and you fix the foot wall, right? So I'm going to rigidly fix the foot wall, so it can't move anymore, and then I'm going to apply gravity. To the hanging wall. Which direction is the hanging wall going to move? In the same direction as gravity, normal to gravity. So, so that's that's the way I remember it, the normal fault. So then the reverse fault. So then the reverse fault is. We're going to do the same thing, right? We're going to fix the foot wall. And then I'm going to apply gravity, but I'm going to apply gravity in the reverse direction. Right? Which, wall, which way is the hanging wall going to move? Again, in the direction of gravity, but now gravity has been reversed. Right? So that's, that's how I remember it. Right? Normal to gravity, reverse to gravity. And then, of course, the, the last one is a strike slip fault. And it's fairly easy to remember. Um, because, you know, there you have two plates that are sliding, slipping with respect to one another. So, strike slip fault looks like that. And in reality, things are much more complicated. I mean, there's, there's almost never a scenario where you have perfect normal faulting, perfect reverse faulting, perfect strike slip fault. Right? So for example, the San Andreas fault is about 90 95% strike slip. So almost all of the motion is strike slip. But there is a little bit of motion uh, uh, in the normal direction. So normal faulting is occurring as well. 